Hello everybody, this is RC Central here, and today I'm going to be doing a studio tour of, well, what else? My studio. Um, really not much here, I'm just starting out channel, just have some basic stuff. Um, you might have seen this before in the Introducing the Eternity Trooper video, but really didn't go into depth because that's not what that video was for. But anyways, this is my kind of tool stand where I work on my cars and stuff, and it's really just... A towel, an old towel on top of a dresser, just to keep the dirt off the dresser. And then I got a box from a remote that I have a rag on top just to stop it from scratching and wrecking it up on the underside of the RC car. Um, just kind of basic. I have some body clips from my trooper over here. I have the body off that. Maybe I'll show you a bit later in the video. I got a voltage meter. This is for my LiPo battery. I plug it into the battery while I'm driving, and it screams at me when the battery's about to die, and I take it in and just storage charge it back up. I do have some hex tools over here, just getting in those tiny places, and even big places. I mean, I never know what I'm going to use this one for. It's just insanely big. Anyways, those are over there. I've got some different ones over here. Um, over here I got just a standard screwdriver. I mean, it has a little switch so you can turn it both ways without having to do this all the time. And uh, you might be wondering, why do you have a toothbrush over here? Kind of weird, right? I mean, I don't brush my teeth in here. No mirror or anything. Anyways, this is for my truck. And no, it doesn't have teeth. And no, I don't brush it in the tooth, or at least. But I do brush it, and I get in those tiny places with this. And it is really dirty. I need to wash it sometimes. But it's really useful to just clean off the shocks and everything after a long run in the dirt and mud and stuff like that. Over here, I just have a old rag. It's all dry because it's been watered down and it has dirt in it and everything. Just scrub off all that stuff, all that stuff. but I have to be careful on the electronics because my truck isn't waterproof. Um, that's really it over here. Now you may, if you're noticing, been smart and seen that in my lipo bag review, this is actually the same dresser. See? Same dresser, I just roll this up, take it off, and there's wood underneath because, well, yeah. Just looks nicer than using, you know, a dirty work stand for a review video. Down here, the mysterious lock drawer. Ooh, it's locked shut, so we'll get in it. Actually doesn't lock, just pulls it open. This is where I got all my miscellaneous stuff, mostly batteries and chargers. I got my remote in here. I have a video on this if you want to go see. It's a review video. It talks a lot about it. It's just a simple remote. I use it for my trooper. 2.4 gigahertz. Over here I got my everything charger. It just fast charges every type of battery you could think of. And I use that for my LiPo. I have a wall charger over here for my NICD. They got an absolutely gigantic fan over here. Just a plug that I haven't soldered on to anything. And then a teeny tiny fan for an ESC. Over here I got a level. Don't know what I'm ever going to use that for. I mean, RC cars don't really need levels. I got a teeny tiny battery over here. What is it? An NICD. Let's see. Come on, camera. 700 milliamp, 9.6 volt. I've used this for years, it barely works anymore. I don't know what I'd use it for, but hey, I got it. Over here I got my LiPo. Um, I'm not going to take it out of the bag right now. This is the LiPo bag I was talking about. And yeah, I just zip it in here, throw it in, shut the drawer, don't have to worry about it. Down here you might have seen I have the body for my trooper. And I just have it off right now because I'm, I've been working on it. Although something unfortunate has happened and I will tell you guys more about that in a second. Over here, I do have my actual trooper with the body off. I'll just give you a sneak peek. This isn't a review video for it, though. And, yeah, I got an antenna sticking out there. Got some nice tires on it. This thing is a good truck, although it does have a problem right now. There's a diff up here, and that diff is completely stripped out. I don't know how I managed to do that. I'm getting a metal upgrade for it soon. I have the parts on their way. They're shipped. And, yeah, I mean... Just stripped out the diff. I was hoping I'm doing a video on it soon, but I really can't if it doesn't drive. It's four-wheel drive. 